You are listening to Motivational Radio France with your host, Longiago in Paris. Hello, once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our lovely program, Motivational Hour. Today, I'm speaking with Fei Adesaya, who is uh, a pastor in a church. Glorious. Okay, Glorious Army International Worship Center in Nigeria. I'm asking him today to really tell our listeners exactly what he meant by having purpose in life. So, Mr. Adeshaya, can you tell us exactly what is purpose? Purpose is short, is just the reason for the existence of the pain of somebody. Okay. So, that's why that person exists. That's just simply what purpose. So for you, purpose is meaning of existence in life. The reason. The for reason for existence. existence. Okay. okay. So how can if any if it is possible, how can anyone apply the purpose if he decides if he knows exactly what his purpose is or her purpose is? How can we apply that into our lives to get results? Okay. Um. Well, you are least I understand you well. That means how to apply it in our daily life. Yes, how can we apply the purpose? Because if we define the purpose, if we ex- if we know exactly why we came to this planet, how can we use it as a springboard to get results in our lives? Because at the end of the day, we're all judged by the results we produce and the results we get. So how, if we want to get a good result in life, how do we define the purpose and how do we apply the purpose into our lives? Okay, first is that you have to discover your purpose. Um, this is not like um, saying that if you have a movie, you want to cast and um, uh, first of all, as an actor, you have to get the role you are supposed to perform. When you know the role, you get the script attached to the thing to inform how you are going, what part you are going to play in that movie. Because your success will be judged on that role, not just any role that you play. So as it applies to us, uh, uh, when we discover our purpose in life, it will now form things we do, what we are now we do then, so that we'll be able to fulfill that. Okay, so it's it, you need to know exactly the roles you're, you're here to play, right? Like in the exactly. movie that you said. But then you need to know that. Is it possible for any man to stand up, I don't know, through life, know the roles he, he or she is supposed to play in life? Is it easy to get? Is it possible to know uh, just like that? What are the well, what uh, are the means of uh, achieving I that? Say, I won't say it is easy, but it's possible. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. It's very, very possible. And then basically, since the uh, bubble is not something we create on our own, we are here to discover it. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so what we can do, first of all, is that... Um, through prayer to God, we can God can direct us towards our purpose. Okay. However, also God uses um, certain things to point us to our purpose, mm-hmm. like our passions, our. In fact, there's, there's what is called the past tense. That is P A W S. Your passion, your ability, your your what gives you satisfaction, and then the situation around you. Mm-hmm. If you follow those things, they will lead you to your purpose here on it. Okay, the the pass test. Do you discover it in school? Do you discover it alone? Do you have a place where you can go and discover that pass test? Uh, well, it's, it's not something you have to go to school to, to do. It's, it's something you can do uh, to live your life daily. Mm-hmm. Like I said, uh, that's the, your passion. What what are you passionate about? You see, God has wired us these things inside us to put to direct us. Like for instance, how do we know that this person is a carpenter? He's going to have tools that will show that this, this man is a carpenter. He's going to have uh, saw and all the rest. For instance, somebody whose purpose in life is to be a musician. Mm-hmm. One of the things God is going to wire into the person's life is his passion for music. Mm-hmm. Then then you have some abilities along that line. So for instance, you may have good voice, good sense of composing music and all the rest. That's just to tailor him. If he follows those things, he will eventually lead and will be led to his purpose or a purpose in life. So your passion your ability and the things that give you satisfaction, then the situations around you, if you follow them, they'll point you exactly to your purpose in life. Okay, very good. So you need to know who you are, first of all, before you know your passion, then your talent, and then your purpose, and then the results you get, right? Yes. Now, would I, if I want to ask you, Feyi, what is your talent? What's your purpose? What, how did you discover yourself? Like I said, first of all, um, purpose is not something we create. Nobody can just come here and say, well, I want to become this. That's not true. Uh, what we need to do is, in our relation and uh, interaction with God, as a street prayer, we try to find that out. Then, as I've also said, God uses these things 
to point us to it. For instance, my purpose in life is to is to be a minister of God mm -hmm. and for people to know God better. And then in my longing to know my purpose, I was nobody is born with the knowledge of his purpose. We go up to discover this. Okay. Thing, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, in our longing to know, okay, why exactly am I here? You you begin as you begin to follow your your passion, what the, the gifts and the talents that God has put inside of you, you, you inevitably arrive at your point. Okay, so somehow you will discover it on your own while you go along. Yes, yeah, it's, a, it's something, it's a personal responsibility. The bulk of it is your personal responsibility. Find people out the role they are going to play here and there, but then the bulk of it is your personal responsibility, your duty to find it out. Okay, it's your duty to find it out. Is it possible for you to, to say that, uh, is it possible it can be discovered in school? Can we discover it while going through school? It can be discovered in school. Okay. And oh, that, yes. Uh, uh, but then, the, uh, that doesn't mean that the four walls of the school is the only place one can discover. Actually, our, the school system is supposed to give us an opportunity to identify what is your passion? What is your that's why we have different courses. Mm -hmm. You look at the ones that appeal to you, that is pointing you to to what your purpose is. Uh -huh. so the school can help. Okay, the school can help, but it's not the only way to discover no, one's no, talent. No. Because there are some no. people who did not go to school and they discover their talents. Oh, sure, you can, you can. The mm -hmm. school should help. You have the opportunity many people go through school without having... In fact, I believe that that should be the primary aim of to help people discover their purpose. Not okay. just to pour some knowledge of some particular discipline into them. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the school helps you to discover who you are somehow, not all of it. So you you, you need to work you need to work on your own to discover oh. who you are exactly. Right. That brings me to the next question, which is how can we create a purposeful meaning for our lives? How can we do it? Well, again, I must say that uh, we cannot. The word create is what I am uh, focusing on now. We cannot create. Uh, uh, well, when we discover our purpose, we discover something about purpose is that it's always tailored towards meeting the needs of others. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Whatever your purpose is in life, the final thing about it is that it's meeting a particular need. So while you are following your passion, your ability, and what gives you satisfaction, and the situation around you, see to it that you are meeting the needs of others. That's the end point of anybody's purpose in life. Mm -hmm. You're going to meet the needs of others. So that's way you, I believe you you have uh, you make impact this world. Okay, wonderful. That's it. The, the more the more problems you solve for others, the better your life is. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Now the thing is, I, I quite accept what you're saying. I understand that, but I still believe that it is not very easy <laughs> to discover one's purpose in life. It's not very oh, easy. I agree with you. Absolutely, it's not easy. It's not very easy. It, it, do you know any practical method? of anybody saying, okay, if you do this and do this and do that, you can get results. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be frank with you, there's no such thing. Okay. At least to the best of my knowledge. That is a formula if I give it to you, follow it, you arrive at your purpose. It, it doesn't work like that. Okay. It's, it's going to take time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to take, you have to try some things and make mistakes along the line, learn from them before you get it. Uh, so, not easy, just like you said, but uh, it's possible and it is something that is a realizable task. Uh, you are going to make mistakes in trying to discover your purpose. You are going to try some things and if it won't work, that, in fact, that's the only way you can know that something is not even, some, sometimes some things are not your, your okay. uh, so it's not, uh, there's no almighty formula to it. Okay, so are you, you're saying that mistakes and mistakes are an integral part of learning. You learn while you make mistakes along the line. Oh, sure. It's just like a child that is uh, learning to walk. Mm -hmm. The first steps the child is going to take is sure you, you will stand and walk a little fall, rise up again till the master. So it's not the same way we talk. Okay. Even those who claim that they know their purpose, actually, as long as you are living, all you know is but a, a portion or a part of your purpose. You keep discovering things along the line. As you okay. So knowledge is something that is never finished. Oh, sure. Okay. Sure. Can, can one say that he has discovered himself a hundred percent. Is it possible to, to claim uh, no, that? No, no, that's not possible. That's not possible. Okay. Yeah, I, it's not possible. Okay. As long as you're alive, you keep discovering some things about yourself. And making mistakes along. Yes, you will. You will. No prayer against that. Okay. <laughs> I think someone said that the more mistakes we make, the better it becomes. Yes, that's uh, provided you are learning from your mistakes. I agree with you. Yes. So we learn yeah, along. Then, then you don't have to make all the mistakes. Mistakes that people have, ahead of you have made. If you take the time to learn from them, you won't have to make those mistakes. You gain time. You gain energy and experience. 
Okay, that's why we need to maybe emulate or copy those who have already made it. Okay. So that to shorten so the, why, the learning curve. That's why all of us are not living in the world at the same time. God made sure that some people have lived before you mm -hmm. and they, they have history to show to live for you so that you can learn from that. It, it, it's supposed to be that the, the next generation should be an improvement on the other. Okay. Very good. So, but what? Because that will bring me to the next question, which is almost what you said. That I wanted to ask: How we're all wired for specific or unique purposes in life? How can we discover it early enough in our lives? Is it possible? For example, for me, if I if if I'm a good footballer, if I'm if I'm wired to be a good footballer, is it possible at the age of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to discover that very early instead of discovering it at the age of twenty? <laughs> <laughs> but just not too late. Let me start this way. I think this the responsibility starts with the parents uh -huh. or the guardian of the child. There are some mistakes parents and guardians make very early. A child is coming up, is just starting a child of two, three, four, five. He's trying to do something. You are seeing something, and uh, because you have your own mindset of what you want the child to become, you are telling the child, "No, don't do this. Don't do that." Uh, Why well, would say that uh, it's better they just leave the child? And um, let the child, let him follow his passion, his, uh, his ability, his talent. Let them just guide him. You will see that a child that is brought up that by the age, time he comes up the age of about 20, he already knows what to do, you understand? Mm -hmm. So it's not to the parent. Then uh, when you go and become uh, your, on your own and you, you can, you know your left from your right, uh, one thing that I discovered that is a problem of many people is that um, they are afraid to follow their, the intuition of their heart. You know, many times our heart, heart knows where we have to go, but... Uh, we, we have educated our head and the essence of our heart. So we don't want to take chances, we don't want to take risks, we don't want to go anywhere that we are anything, we don't want to do anything that is not, uh, we are not sure. Uh, so that's what we say. If we can put this thing in place, I believe we can discover our purpose early enough. Okay. So any, any parent can copy and say, okay, listen, let me guide my child. In fact, the meaning of parenting is guardian. As somebody who guides, yes. you're supposed to guide your child or your children. Yes. To, so that when you watch them closely, you know what or who is doing what. So that in the process, exactly. you begin to say, okay, this person or this child can do this better than the other person. Let me follow yeah. or let me push him to that direction where he wants. But the problem is that we have a tendency yeah. to copy. We have a tendency to copy, uh, especially parents who say, okay, my child wants to, he has to be a lawyer, he has to be an engineer, he has to be a pilot. Maybe the boy is not wired to be like to be a pilot or an engineer okay. at all. Uh, but exactly. we're pushing that child to, to doing that. I remember a, a story, somebody, um, it was Sam Hinsu, whom I interviewed last week, who said that it was, that there was a boy, his father wanted him to become uh, a medical doctor and this boy, he, he tried all best to, be, to, to avoid being a medical doctor, but the father did not agree, so he went to the university studied medicine for 7 or 10 years and came out, the last day the day of graduation, he took his diploma or degree and gave it to the father, I said, Papa take this diploma. You want me to be a doctor, take it. I don't want to be a doctor. And the guy left and then went back to the school and started studying something else. Wow. That, that was great, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. They have wasted, uh, whether I like it or not, they have wasted years. That's it. You understand? Then uh, we see this could do thing because he's brave enough to still go back. Many people, what they do is just go along that line and live their, the rest of their life fulfilling their father's dream exactly. and their parents' dream, not theirs. Even some radio fans, if you just become dedicated to a motivation, success, and inspiration, I recommend that you tune in regularly for life transforming interviews and more. You are listening to Motivational Radio France with your host, Longiago in Paris.